One of Australia's most successful swimming coaches is facing bombshell accusations tonight. Dick Kane, the man who trained Olympic and world champions, stands accused of sexually abusing teenage girls in the 1970s. How the world perceived Dick Kane yesterday versus today. A dying old man escorted from his home by police, threatening a legacy that took a lifetime to build. We will allege that these offences occurred in a number of locations in and around the southern Sydney area in the mid-1970s. Nine charges, including six of carnal knowledge. That's what the charge was called half a century ago. The alleged victims are former pupils at Cars Park Olympic Pool, aged 15 and 16 at the time. A magistrate said he would have refused bail, that it was a strong case if not for evidence given by Kane's wife, Jenny. Kane has throat cancer, lung cancer, seizures, heart problems and depression and roughly six months to live. Dick Kane has perhaps coached more Australian sporting champions than any other. 1980 Olympics gold medalist Michelle Ford, Karen Phillips, Janelle Elford, Susie Moroni. None of these champions is among the alleged victims. Kane also coached world champion triathlete Greg Welsh, boxer Anthony Mundine and Jeff Fennick. Police want it publicised in case there are more alleged victims. In the words of one local who preferred not to speak on camera, if it's true, it's a tragedy for the victims. If not true, it's a tragedy for Dick Kane. Robert Ovadia, 7 News. Australia's COVID